No, not again. Too long. I can't rush the damn moon. They're breaking inside. ideas. knowing you. Ah! <laughs> 
In itself can make a heaven of hell a hell of heaven. Bravo! It appears your charges have emerged from their hell in one piece, although this ordeal will continue to haunt them for the rest of their lives. I look forward to our next encounter. Perhaps I'll choose a story that's a little more homely, Next time, somewhere you'd be guaranteed of a decent night's sleep. Rest assured, wherever it is, you'll find it extremely hard to leave. Until the next time. You know the way out.
You're late, and you look like shit. I just got off the red eye. What's your excuse? Good flight? Oh, shit movie, shit meal, no leg room. They cram me in the back? By the toilets. Nice. Coffee wasn't so bad, though. Good fucking muffins. Did you read the brief? On the flight. How's it going with the analysis team? Four of the ISG units arrived. They're being debriefed through here. Shall we? After you. And the entities? Like nothing we've seen before. Cool check, Jason. First Lieutenant, Marine Force Recon. The best of the best, huh? Or so they advertised. Fuck! Now how many times do I have to keep telling you the same damn story? I understand. However, SETCOM needs to iron out any irregularities. Such as? The whole fucking thing was irregular! Such as why you allied with an enemy combatant? You ain't fucking there! Those things were ripping us to shreds. I don't give a damn who it was. We needed all the help we could get. I stepped back into that hell to save Selene. And that man was worth five of you people. Semper fucking five! So they cooperated with an Iraqi soldier down there? Republican Guard, if you can believe it. Must have made a hell of an impression for Goldjack to go back for him. I'm dying to meet this guy. I am not answering any more questions until I see my son. That's not how we do things around here. You don't have a clue. Jason came back for me. What does that tell you? Down there, this damn war of yours was over. I'd like to talk more about the entities. The vampires. I'm finding it very hard to believe that you killed those things with that. Untie me, and I'll show you how I did it. The analysis team are still pulling specimens from the site. It's carnage down there. They used dynamite? We don't know how they got their hands on it. No, 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 I'm done. I told you already. It was a city, a goddamn city full of those things. There were cocoons down there, fucking thousands of them. How many organisms were still alive down there? Too many. Oh, for all's sake, they all fucking burdened. This is like Winterfold all over again. Uh-huh. Ah, and here we have Colonel Eric King, our in-house genius. He definitely got more than he bargained for. Everything you know about biology just went up in smoke. These things, they're advanced. They're stronger than us, more intelligent than us. If you want to get ahead of this, you need to start taking me seriously. None of us doubt the severity of the situation, Colonel. A number of people have died. I made it out alive. And I'm going to make sure those things stay buried in that hellhole where they belong. Let's move on to Kalis. Do you believe me now? This is Miller. He'll be fully debriefing you. Debriefing? You need to get your damn priorities straight. Those things are still down there. What are you doing about them? There will be plenty of time to talk things through. Right now, I suggest you count your blessings that you came through the other side. It's nothing short of a miracle that you survived down there. I learned not to rely on anyone but myself. I was stronger than them all. We'll be back shortly. Are you still on for next Sunday? Janet's making hot pot. You bet your ass we're on. I'll never get used to this job. Why would you want to? At least this one was localized. And the small blessings. So, what do you make of it all? Doesn't matter what I think. Only thing that matters is controlling the flow of information. As far as the world knows, not a damn thing happened here. You want to know what it means to be a killer? Think of the most profound thing you've ever done. 
most beautiful thing you've ever created. And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. To see the fear in their eyes. To feel them pawing at you for release. To hear them pleading, begging.